Hey everyone, my name is Jessica Whitaker, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about the Fashion Institute of Technology, otherwise known as FIT. I'm going to be referring to it as FIT, get caught up on the lingo, because that's how it's going to go. I basically am going to be talking about my major, my classes, my professors, my reflection on the first semester, the pros and cons, a little bit of a Q&A, all of that. This is basically my huge video all about FIT. It's gonna be a little bit long, but I get so many questions every month, and I feel like most of my monthly Q&As are more on FIT itself than anything, so I thought that this might be a good hub, a good place to direct people. I have it all laid out on my phone, so if it seems a little bit scripted or anything, or like I'm reading off of, I don't know, bullet points, it's because I am. I have a lot of stuff to include. I don't want to do too much editing on this because it's just a lot of talking, so bear with me. As most of you guys know, I am a fashion design major. I'm getting my AA in apparel design. Women's wear, not men's wear, not intimate, not sports wear, knit, nothing. It's just a general AA in apparel design. I do know quite a bit about the fashion merchandising major, so I will kind of answer some questions in regards to that too, but I'm not an expert. So I have linked down some really good resources done by my friends, um, some of their Q&A videos that I recommend you guys check out. All of these videos are a little boring, um, to be honest, but if you just want information, these are the kind of videos that you're going to have to watch. So I apologize for this video and I apologize if the other ones aren't that exciting, but like I said, it's more of a resource than an entertaining thing. I'm not going to compare it to other schools too much or talk about the new school or FITM or anything like that. I'm solely talking about FIT and my experience. A little bit of background, I'm not going to go too much into my personal background because I answer a lot of those kind of questions in my monthly Q&A videos, which I'll have linked down below, but I am from Seattle, Washington, and I went to an industry trade school for fashion design and marketing the last two years of high school. I went to community college last year to do general ed courses that would transfer over to my major so that I wouldn't have to take things like math and English and social sciences during my time at FIT. If you do want to see a video on high school, do, going to a fashion design high school or a trade school like I did, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to make that. I know I have a lot of younger viewers who aren't really at the college age yet, so maybe something more high school oriented would be more relatable. So definitely let me know. So like many design schools, we have block classes. There'll be a section one and a section two, but at FIT, we have section one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. And basically you're assigned into one block and you take seven out of nine classes with the same people that all relate to the fashion design major. Your other two classes or other one class that are like liberal arts or general ed, you know, English and math, you'll have it with a mix of people, but these are your block classes. There were about 20 kids in my block, I think, could have been 18, it could have been 22, but even numbers, it's the same thing. So on to the classes that I took my first semester. The first one was a sewing te techniques class, which is basically the basics of sewing, the different um, stitches, the different hems, the different hem finishes, whatever. We sewed a blouse, we sewed a skirt, we sewed some samplers, we sewed a dickey. Um, not too exciting. The second class was a draping class. We had draping twice a week because FIT heavily uh, encourages, they, they really focus on draping over flat pattern, which was my other class. Flat pattern was great. We only had it once a week like we did with sewing. Then we had a fashion illustration class, which was model drawing, and then we have a life drawing class. Model drawing is stylizing a model and putting the clothes onto the model, and then life drawing is just nude, um, more stuff like that. A lot of us got life drawing and model drawing so mixed up. We would start stylizing the people in the life drawing class, and our teacher, our professor, sorry, I'm like so high school even though it's been a couple of years, our professor would get kind of frustrated, but we just had model drawing and life drawing on the same day. We'd mix them up, whatever. And then we had fashion art and design. And fashion art and design is was my favorite class. It was five hours and, well, more like six. Our professor would go over time an hour um, quite often. And so, yeah, that was it. And then I also took a math class, which was a joke. I mean, hoy vey. You guys can Google draping and flat pattern, but flat pattern is an industry standard and FIT focuses on draping. 
that's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> I did not like draping at all. Um, draping caused me many a pain. I thrived in flat, in flat pattern. I really liked it. Um, the professors are helpful. Um, I think it kind of depends what professor you have. I loved my professor for our basic sewing techni techniques class. She was a Christian. She was super kind and compassionate, understanding, really wanted to help the students. Fashion art and design is basically more illustration, a lot of illustration, a lot of putting mood boards together. For example, our this was the one class we had a true midterm for and a true final. We Well, all of the classes had finals, but all, not all of the classes had midterms. My final for fashion art and design was Chanel meets blank. The blank had to be a kind of a culture or like a space, a trend, an idea, something though that was trending. I picked the Pacific Northwest um, because mainly that whole hipster vibe I think has really spread from Seattle and Portland to the rest of the country. I see people cuffing their jeans. I see people drinking flat white coffee and everything so I don't know and it plus it was pretty personal to me I chose somebody that I was inspired by for our midterm in that class we did a culture kind of thing a location almost and then a time period and then it had to be swimmer so mine was 1960s Greece and the swimwear and it was really cool really colorful <laughs> my professor really liked it i was very proud of the mood page and everything i just loved coming up with concepts doing the mood board and everything i didn't really care so much about designing clothes and i think that's when i kind of had an indication that maybe i should be in another major but more on that later <laughs> so the draping and flat pattern we basically had a final garment a term garment and then we had not really a midterm at all in either of those classes. FIT, we have a business school and then an art school. So, okay. So the fashion design is in the art school and then fashion merchandising management, also known as FMM. So if I call it FMM, I'm talking about fashion merchandising, is in the business school. Fashion design and interior design honestly work the hardest. You do not sleep. If you have a boyfriend, you have to break up with him. You don't have any time at all. Even on the weekends you're working, you're staying up so late. You have so, so, so much to do. So you are going to spend a lot of money in supplies. You're constantly going to have to be buying new muslin for your draping classes. You're going to have to get more pattern paper, replenish your O-tag for flat pattern, um, pins, supplies, fabric, Obviously, fabric isn't really the big chunk of money though because in New York you can buy it very, very inexpensive. Um, let's see. For fashion or design, honestly, any illustration art class, you're going to have to buy markers, which are $5. You're going to have to get paper, sketch paper, a lot, a lot, a lot of supplies. So I knew that going into it, that that was going to be a thing and everything. So it's not like it was some su surprise, Jessica, you have to spend $700 on supplies. But just FYI, because I do get that question quite often. Okay, let's talk about campus life. So FIT has some awesome clubs, but as a fashion design student, you're not going to be able to join any of them. They have great clubs, I just wouldn't really know. Um, okay, so they have it ties into the cons, so I'm going to talk more about that in the cons. It's really small and it's not buffet style, not traditional buffet style anyway. There's not many options. They basically don't have much for vegans or vegetarians or they do have stuff for gluten free but it's in this like random mini fridge in the corner and you have to buy it, like buy it, you can't use your, your swipe or anything. Um, they do have a Starbucks. Their gym is great. Their gym is awesome. Love it. Top of the line equipment and everything. It's very small though. It's very narrow and long, and so it's kind of awkward to do like squats or something. Not that there's all these guys there who are going to be looking at your booty. They're not going to be interested in your booty. Um, but it's sometimes a little uncomfortable. It gets a little crowded, so I recommend going in the morning. So to live in the dorms, you have to have at least 12 and a half credits or more. Um, so, for example, if you're someone like me who went to community college last year and you did your prerequisite kind of classes, your English and everything, and you don't need to take them anymore and they transferred, you're not going to have 12 and a half credits because your block classes, those six classes, whatever, you're going to need, it's intended to have two more or even one more. So um, I had to like email the dean and get permission and everything. So that's something to really consider if you've already been um, to college before. Okay, roommates. <laughs> 
yeah, my favorite subject, roommates. So my old roommate actually left. Um, and I have a roommate now who is one of my really good friends and was before she even moved in. We're in a traditional style dorm, everything like that. A lot of our friends have apartment styles, but we are in a traditional dorm. I have a couple tips on choosing a roommate. This is going to sound so weird, but you need to make sure that that roommate, that chick, that guy, whatever, is active on their social media. You need to make sure they have an Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or something that they actively post because one phone call doesn't mean anything. Like, I mean, you need to be looking through their favorites, through their tagged photos. Do they have other friends? Are they normal? Are they not psychotic? Just trust me on that. You need to be 100% honest with a person about who you are, what your beliefs are. You're, if you have a boyfriend, if your boyfriend's going to be spending the night ever and you need to be able to be clear and set ground rules. <laughs> and honestly, I pray that they are being honest too because you're going to be in a situation like I was in surprise is what happened to me essentially. So that was a fun time. Man, <laughs> college. Make sure your roommate, too, is around your same age. Not even around your same age. Your same age. I know that a year sounds like it's not really that much, but it is. This is the thing. Everyone was telling me you need a roommate. You need a roommate. Because FIT does offer single room options where it's just a single dorm. You don't share it with anyone. It's a little more expensive. But everyone's like, no, you need to have a roommate. Get that experience. I would highly recommend, if you're somebody who... You've never grown up with sisters? Um, I recommend a single room. I'm not against that. I think you can still get the dorm life. The thing about campus life, it overall, in general, is that this is not university. You're, it's not a normal campus life. You're not gonna have bonding moments where people are propping their doors open. No. No, 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 no. Everyone keeps their doors shut. They basically keep to, them, keep to themselves, and it's awesome, but if you're looking to be in a sorority sister or anything like that, FIT is not the place to do that. Honestly, art school, design school, no. It's very individualized. You'll make friends and stuff, but it's going to be more difficult because it's going to happen in the classroom and not on campus, if that makes any sense at all. <sighs> so making friends there is difficult. Um, I know a lot of people click with their roommate at first and then it falls through and everything and that's totally normal too. Don't expect your roommate to be your best friend. It's not, especially your first year at college. Um, get plugged in somewhere else. If you're a Christian, find a church that works for you because um, you're going to need that, especially in New York. I don't, don't want to say regular friends, but just some friends who aren't obsessed with these material things like fashion. You need to have some solid, just down-to-earth people around because chances are half of your classmates, they're going to be great and really fun, but you, you need to have a balance in your life. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons. First off, FIT is extremely intensive, very intensive. It's almost, it's an immersion. You know, you eat, breathe, sleep, dream, live, fashion, if you so choose. The labs. So the labs at FIT, the workspaces, are open until 2 a.m., sometimes even later. My friends have stayed until 5. So you sign in and out with the guards, and there's, like, high security. That's another pro, is FIT, I guess, is the fourth safest school in the nation. Um, and I know that surprises a lot of people because when you think New York, you think like, oh man, like, guns, violence, no. No, I could go up and make a whole video about how that's not true at all. It's so high security, so it's totally safe and everything like that. I've never, you know, if somebody even comes on campus that looks suspicious, they'll just take them away. It's really, really extremely safe. There's tutoring services, which are great. I really, 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 really love my tutor. I really score it out with her. You only get seven free tutoring sessions, and then after that, you have to pay. And not first seven sounds like a lot, but I had to get... I used all seven, let's just put it like that, um, maybe even nine, F, I really don't know. I needed a lot of tutoring, and you shouldn't be ashamed or anything like that to go to it. I know some of my classmates were like, oh, I hear you go to tutoring, how is that? I kind of want to go, but I'm not really sure. I'm like, honestly, take advantage of those seven. The people are so helpful and everything like that. Another pro is the classmates. My classmates were amazing. I think that I was just really, really blessed because the program was so difficult for me, but God just really blessed me with the people. And if you're just somebody who, you're not into the underground avant-garde stuff, they're not going to judge you for that. They're not going to be mean. Um, everyone did dress very nice to class, but it's not like they were up in like some Armani suit. They were just wearing their own style. They don't care what other people think of them, and they don't, they don't really care how you dress either. So I could go in sweats. One girl she 
owns a Hermes bag and she went to school each day in sweatpants. Nobody cared. They were so nice to her. Um, so that's awesome because I would just wear Birkenstocks and socks to class all the time. They don't, they really don't care. I think a lot of people think that, oh, fashion school is so pretentious. I could, I could make another video about that. Fashion is a personal thing and if you're truly into it, you're not going to inflict your opinion. <laughs> I think it's stupid. And if anyone, I've only had one person be mean to me and that was like three upperclassmen girls and you could tell, they're, you could get their vibe. I'm not going to say it, but you could get their vibe. Okay, the con list. I don't know why I'm so excited about the con list. Um, mostly because I haven't really heard anyone have true cons, but I'm going to be honest. Like I said, I love the school, but I got some things to say. The con would be, <laughs> the biggest con for me is the cafeteria. Like any other school, you get a meal plan where you get to decide how many meals a week you want. Usually people choose 12. So that means you're eating in the cafeteria breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, okay, well, hmm. the cafeteria is very, very small. I know it's a small school, but it's so small. There's not many options. You can basically choose between sushi, a sandwich bar, and a pizza bar and then they'll have this thing called a chef special where they'll basically have four dishes excuse me green beans and mixed vegetables they don't it's so gross no i've been like fresh vegetables like i don't mean to sound like a whole food snob who eats organic because i don't even know what kale is but rice then they'll have one kind of main course thing it will either be chicken or it'll be this fish stuff Something like that, and then a vegan option, which they always have the same vegan thing, and it looked like soup or something, and I feel so bad for them. <laughs> what you do is you basically follow this extremely strict guideline that says you can get a certain, you can get a drink, you can get a bag of chips, you can get a dish from one of those stations, and then that's it. You can't come back for seconds, anything like that. You can get fruit. Cool. Yeah, I don't recommend it at all at all at all okay the library okay so the library is awesome in the sense that it's three floors they have a lot of resources everything like that they have i've never checked out the computer labs because i have a laptop but I've, even though they have great resources it's very very dated for example um on one of the floors the workspaces will have tables and the wood will be really warped on it and then there'll be all these like slashes from freaking exacto knives or something. and it's just it's extremely dirty you know <sighs> Ooh. if you're paying let me put it this way if you're paying tuition like you want your library to be okay to be at my community college library last year was nicer than this the actual library facility so i'm not really sure why it is that way alumni hall i'm going to talk about alumni hall Alumni Hall has a lot of fire drills. They probably have a fire drill two times a week, usually at either 11 o'clock at night or maybe 3 a.m. Don't live in an alumni. Don't. I know they're apartment style, but no. There actually was an actual fire um, a couple weeks before finals, or maybe it was finals week or something, and the fire alarm did not go off. I can't think of really anything else to say. Make sure you really Google your professors, look them up on Write My Professor, write reviews for your professor. That's extremely important just to give your honest opinion to other people. I do that all the time after I've taken a class from someone. I think it's very important to put your feedback. So my overall experience at FIT has been all right. I like it as a school. I know I'm called to be in New York City. Um, I love my friends that I've made. I just don't really like college. <laughs> I'm so happy for everyone who says that they love FIT and that they think it's this amazing school because it is an amazing school if you know what you want to do and for sure. But as humans, it's natural for us to not to change our mind and to, you know, want to do something else or try something else that's in our nature and there's nothing wrong with changing your major. I feel like FIT makes it seem like this big deal like, oh, you're so fortunate to have gotten into the fashion design program. Why would you ever want to change? Like, you know, very pretentious almost. I don't know if my experience with fashion design would have been a more positive thing if I was in FIT, but I know that it's not the major for me. I'm changing my major. <laughs> but the thing is that I've realized is that I know God had me get into the fashion design major for so many reasons. So I could grow as a person, so I could experience it and everything like that and do you know, sermons off of it and inspire people and everything like that. And just to show how 
great God is and everything, but I also know now that if I had decided originally I wanted to do something like photography, I would have stayed in Seattle and I wouldn't have moved to New York for it. But now that I'm in New York, obviously that's the place to study photography. I mean, you're around, you know, there's huge magazines and fashion photography. You know, it's, I don't want to go in too much into it because like I said, that's not what this video is about. Um, but yeah, I... I don't know if I've gotten accepted yet or anything like that. I just submitted my portfolio, so who knows? And I'm okay with being transparent and honest. It's okay, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I don't want to make this channel seem like, oh, I have my life together. I don't want my channel to be like that at all because I'm a human, and I think that um, it's important to remind others that it's okay to be like that. So, like I said, I don't know if I'm getting in, and I was really, really debating sharing that on my channel because I don't want to seem like a failure, but I have to keep remembering that there's no fear in failure because failure is impossible with God. And I know that I've done so much more than so many of my friends here who are too scared to do something with their life. That's the truth. I'm the one who moved to New York City to do what God called me to do, and God's calling so many people to so much, so many greater things, but they're just not listening. If you're in the same situation where you just don't really like college, you you're not feeling the vibe, it's totally okay. In general, in the fashion design, it's extremely pretentious. You know, I don't know why people are, have such big egos, and I pray that I never have something like that, but it's very hard to get along sometimes and to be patient and show people grace and mercy. And I know it sounds naive of me and stupid to be like, oh, I didn't know it was going to be like this. I know the fashion industry is like that. I knew it was like that coming into it, but just saying, I'm just saying, I think it's important to be said, you know, you're going to get frustrated a lot, even if, if it's with the staff or if it's with your professor, it's okay. You just have to remember you only have them for a semester. You only have them once a week and then you're done. You know, you just have to, that's why I think it's really important to get plugged in at a church somewhere, but that's just me. Anyways, um, FIT, that was my very honest video. I hope that it really helped a lot of you guys out, though. <laughs> okay, the little look, back to normal. Hey, um, if you guys found me through the thumbnail or just searching about FIT, be sure to subscribe. I have some really great videos. Very, excuse me. If you guys have any questions at all, be sure to just leave it in the comments of this video itself so that I'm able to answer them directly. Like always, though, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, or Tumblr. I'll have those all linked down below. Anything I have in this video, I'll have linked down in the description box as well as other resources or anything I can really think of. With that all being said, I'll see you guys next time. You couldn't even see this the whole time. Are you kidding me right now?